Hey everybody, it's Sandra Deluxe, and today we will be looking at the new KKW Beauty Classic Collection. I'm gonna be serving up a look as well as doing some sweetie swatches, so if you'd like to see how it goes down, then please stay tuned. So get cozy, let's go through this together. If you're not already subscribed and a part of the Deluxe fam, just, just go do it. Just, just go subscribe, put on your notifications, and then we can spend every week together, you know? Anywho, let's get into it. So it's about a bajillion degrees in my place and I don't have AC, so if you hear a little bit of a fan noise, just ignore. I've never actually tried any eyeshadow from KKW Beauty, only the lipstick, I've tried the highlight and contour palettes and stuff like that, but I am actually a really big fan of her lipsticks and her concealer is really bomb. So this is the new palette. Very cute. I'm gonna do some swatching. First up, we have Saint. Next up is Florence. Selfish. Calabash. Chicago. Ooh, that's pretty. Fade. Dash. North. Family. And Gemini. So those are the swatches. Also, the first glance, I think this palette is really beautiful. Just from the swatches, the pigmentation seems really popping, but let's see what it looks like on the eye. Next up are her lip pencils, which I actually really like. And they're Peach 1, 2, 3, 4, and I'll just do a little swatchies. So, this is Peach 1. Sorry, that's Peach 2. I was going to do it in order. There's Peach 2, Peach 1, Peach 3, whoa, let's break. And Peach 4. So, those are the three, four lip pencil. She's also got these really pretty lipsticks. Peach 1, Peach 2, Peach 3. Wow, it's so bright. Cray cray. And Peach Bow. So that's the collection. Now let's do a tutorial. So first I'm going to use the, I'm going to do my skin and I'm going to use the Milk Makeup Cooling Water Stick. This is hot as heck. I'm freaking out over here. Next up, we will use the Gleam by Melanie Mills Rose Gold Body Radiant for my face. Helps to blur the skin, gives a little bit of natural radiance, and I think it just makes everything look nice and smooth. It also keeps my foundation on all day. Next up, I'm gonna use the Milk Makeup Matte Blur Foundation in Tan. Hopefully I don't get this in my hair, but I gotta wash my hair anyway, so whatever. To be honest, I'm a little bit of a mess today because, believe it or not, I'm on day two of a, of a hangover. That's what happens when you're almost 30 and I'm just assuming it's going to get worse, but I'll party like I'm 19. Next up, I'm going to use the KKW Beauty Conceal in number 9. There's a lot of shades of this concealer that I can wear. Go between 9, 10, 12, I don't know. But today I'm using this light one because it's the first one I saw. Hopefully this blends okay because I'm so freaking hot right now. We're not. I'm not used to this type of weather for um, living. It's usually never humid here, but anyways, blah, blah, blah. So I'm just highlighting highest points in my face. I really like this concealer because I blend it on my cheek and stuff. I feel like it makes my pores look smaller and it's just hydrating. I tried it with the powder and stuff. The powder is just too dry for me, but I have really dry skin and I don't typically use powders, but today I am. So now that we are highlighted, I'm gonna go in with the Becca Be A Light palette, which I really love, and I'm actually gonna use the light to medium palette, and I'll tell you why. When powder hits something that is wet, like my concealer right now, it'll deepen. So I find if I really wanna keep my highlight, then I'll go into a, a light color. So I'm gonna take this fella, and I'm just gonna lightly powder in between my brows, kind of underneath my eyes, not quite, because I'm gonna go in with that even lighter one. And I'm gonna go into the lightest one and go right under my eyes so it stays super bright. That's, I feel like I should do like a second impressions video of all the stuff I've used um, from first impressions just to show you what I really, really, really love from my first impressions video and how to use it better. So you can give this a light dusting all over. And I love this because it keeps everything really radiant and I'm just kind of going back and forth. And this blush for me is almost like a highlight because there's not really like a highlight shade in there. Wow, this wig is going on strike. I'm going to attempt to contour my nose uh, with the darkest shade in here using my Smith 124 brush. And because my face is kind of sweating, it'll deepen enough to give me a nice little contour. But this is a long wearing foundation, so it won't really move. Next, with the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion in 35i, I'm going to bronze my face. 
and this is a long wearing waterproof bronzer which I don't know if that matters as much unless your foundation's waterproof so and it's not really matte it reflects light the same way skin does I'm using this as a nice little contour slash bronze so I haven't really used this before but this is the highlight 2 palette of KKW Beauty you might as well use it while we're on the topic and oh yeah I'm just gonna do an aggressive highlighting I'm gonna be way too shiny and I use the shade gold too damn brown look dull y'all I'm just going to freestyle as usual. I'm going to go into this shade at the bottom, fade, and I'm going to start by placing that on my lid just to kind of brighten and highlight and also absorb any oils that may be forming because your girl is freaking melting. Next up, I'm going to go into this shade, which looks kind of like a transition shade, but kind of cooler tones. Let's just see what we're working with here. Oh yeah. These blend really nice. Honestly, these shadows are actually quite beautiful. Now I'm going to take um, this shade here, Family. Let's make a little, um, a little shape. And I'm just going to tap that across as if it is a liner and wing it out real far because that's what we're doing. And this is a MAC 239 brush. She actually had a really nice double-ended brush that she released with something else. I don't know where it is. And I'm just going to blend that on the lower part of my lash line and kind of pull it down so it looks almost like dolly eyes, you know? And I'm just kind of sharpening up that one spot there too, but I just want this to fade right to the back of my freaking hairline. I'm just going to do a lot with this look. I'm going to go back with my Morphe M502 brush. Just blend that out so it looks nice and smooth, you feel me? And that's this, I'm using the same color to blend it out too. I'm just going to keep raising this higher. I want this line to be straight and I'm letting the color kind of fade. Let's take a little bit of this fella right here and blend it out too so who knows what will happen. Maybe it'll give us some more dimension. Yeah, that's cute. This is taking an unexpected crazy turn, but that's okay, because I like drama. I'm gonna go into the darkest shade, and we're gonna cut out that line a little bit mel, so it's nice and sharp. And I'm tapping it because I want a lot of pigment to come through, and I want the color to stay in place. We're just kind of drawing a line. Wow. I wasn't expecting to be this dramatic today, but you never know with me. I'm gonna brighten up the lid a little bit more. I'm gonna take a little bit of this guy. Oh, yeah, that guy. And I'm just gonna give myself a little bit more shape right in here. So it's not quite so flat looking. I'm gonna take a little bit of this Chicago and I'm gonna use that on the lower half of my eye. I don't know why, but I feel like coppery colors never really look that good on me, but we're doing it today. And I'm just keeping it on the bottom half and I'm gonna let it fade a little bit into the other shade that we did. For the top, I'm gonna go into Saint and I'm gonna do that on the top part of my eyelid so that it's a little bit more bright but just letting it fade into the max. We still want a max. Then we got some dimension. I live for a broken in pair of uh, Miami lashes by Lily Lash, like worn once or twice. I'm gonna use my Caution mascara from Hourglass. I like this for this heat too, cause it's very long lasting and it's dramatic. I don't know if it's just mine, but it is a drier formula. Two little wigglies back and forth. And I'm just gonna pop these on. The fan's going, so it's making the glue dry kind of fast. So I have to work very quickly. This one I just reapplied glue again and I think now it's too wet. It's like a can one right now. So for my lips, I'm typically not super into colors like this because they're super pink, but I'm just gonna do it. So I'm gonna take the peach one liner and do the center of my lip. Then I'm gonna take peach four and I'm gonna do the outer part of my lip. And I'm just rubbing it together so it's like ombre. And then I think I'm gonna go in with peach four lipstick. And then the liner you did in the center of your lips doesn't even show. So technically, that was a waste of time. But with that being said, I'm gonna take peach one and bring that ombre back. Here we go again where I want to put a nude on instead. And I might, I mean it's cute summary. I'm not going to do what I did last time and try the nude. So that's peach one. 
peach four lip liner with it. Now I'm just being ridiculous. Okay, let me go back to my original lip because I think I like the first one better. What do you guys do? Well, like I said that doing that lip liner in the center is a waste of time, but then I just did it again. Haha. <laughs> feels really creamy too, which I like. I'm gonna use a little bit of the concealer mixed with my foundation to clean it up a little bit because it's a mess. And this is a Smith 302 brush. I usually don't do underneath because even though it's a mess, I, you can't really see it, so what's the point? My lip kind of curls. I'd say that for me, this is good enough. Okay, so that completes the review and the look. Let me know what you think. I feel like I'm summer vacation ready. We went a little extra today, which we do every day. Let me know what you think of this look in the collection. Holla at me. And thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to share, subscribe, follow, love yourself, and of course, stay pretty. See you guys in the next video.